Yosef, how are you doing today? I'm good, John. How are you? Good. It is uh it's Thursday, which means we were supposed to record a video. Do you want to yes, do that? Apparently. Well, we're here anyway, so Yeah, might as well. What do you think we should cover today? Uh, I was thinking one of the more exciting features in Shapiro, everybody's favorite CSV order upload. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's pretty intense. Well, um, sure, let's do it. You want to share All your right. screen? Yeah. So let me get that screen share started. So uh, for anybody currently using Ship Hero, this may be a little bit of a new screen for you. Um, we do currently have CSV order, order upload available, kind of an older version, um, missing some really nice features that, that we built, namely error checking, um, kind of that status, like knowing I uploaded a file, how many orders have been uploaded, where are these orders? So we added some of those features. We also added some more intelligent mapping. So you can uh, basically upload a file. We'll try to match the names of your columns with the names that we need, the columns that we need, um, and match those automatically. And then we'll see there's a nice interface for creating those mapping as well. So basically, um, the flow is pretty much the same as it was before. Um, you start with uploading, and then you do the mapping. So um, we'll jump into it by, first of all, downloading the template. And we'll just open that in Excel. So did we make it more beautiful or do we make it more functional? A little bit of each. So it, it is nicer. You can now see the, the batches with the files that were uploaded. Um, so you have some more visibility into that. And then there is some more functionality, as you'll see. So we downloaded our template. Um, you have all the columns here on top. Um, you can see that actually in the column names, we put what's required. So you can see address is the required column. So similar to what you had before, you have your order date fields. Um, let's just put in today's date so we can have that come up. And you know all, all the fields that you might need in an order. So you're used to those. You have a big screen. Why don't we zoom in a little bit so we can see some of those headers. Basically everything you'd expect in an order upload CSV. Right. So all of our fields, all of our information, you can see one order can span multiple lines if there's multiple products in the order. Um, and we'll just save that. Got a long cell. <laughs> now that we have our template ready, we can upload it. So we'll upload orders and we'll choose our template or our, our file. And as you can see, we've automatically matched the fields in the template with the, rec the fields uh, that we need in Shapiro. So all these have been matched. Um, that's because we used the Shapiro template, so we know they're the exact same. Um, but I can go through any of them and I'll say, I want to change the field that I'm using for address. So I'll click on that, choose a new one. We also show you a preview. So the first Oh, three that's nice. Yeah, so this way you can see, well, is that the right field? You know, maybe you by mistake put address on the SKU. So you'll see that right there. Um, and you just click on confirm mapping. If it's not a required field, so you can see the top are all the required ones. If it's not required, you can hit ignore column. So if you don't want to import that field, just hit ignore column, and we'll ignore it on the import. So oh, if, complete. if you download the the template like you just did, it automatically will map because we we know those fields. Um, right. So exactly. someone doing this for the first time, if they download the template, it'll match those fields automatically. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Otherwise, we'll be prompted to to match or to map the fields that that we uploaded. So you can see I uploaded my my file and there were some errors. So none of them were successful. Two of them had errors, and we could download a CSV with the errors. So let me do that and show you what you can do. So we'll upload or open that file in Excel. And you'll see the first column tells us what the errors are. So if we expand that, let me zoom in a little bit. So I had some sample SKUs. SKU 1 does not exist. So of the required fields, if there's any issues with that field, if it was empty, or in this case, a SKU doesn't exist, it'll tell us. So you might see you know, address um, is required and, and it's empty, things like that. Now, the nice thing is I can go in this file right now and actually correct that. So if I go here to my SKU and put in a SKU that does exist, um, I can re-upload this file right away and it will create the orders. So 
it will only show you the records that failed. So I might have a file with 100, 100 orders on it. You know, two of them failed because there was no address. I'll only see those two, which I need to correct. The other 98 will get uploaded. Correct those two, upload it again, and it'll, it'll just do those two orders. So that's, that's one pretty of those big, cool. So, yeah. so if you upload 100, if you're doing an upload with 100 and two of them failed with an error, you don't mm -hmm. have to upload again. You can just do those those two that were the error? Just those two, yes. You won't that's have to nice. upload all, all 100 again. You'll just be shown those, um, those orders that failed. You can correct them, upload it again, and those two orders will, uh, will be up. Um, we have an email notification for those two, right? Can yeah, so there upload? is an email. Uh, once the batch is finished, you'll get an email. It'll tell you how many were created and how many errors there were. Um, you could download it right from the email. There's a link to download the CSV with the errors. So you can do it directly from the email or just do it here from the, uh, from the CSV page. Nice. All right. Now, once you upload a file, um, you can then save that mapping. So if I went through and create like a manual map, so you know, I have my own custom file, I mapped all the fields, you can click on this map and save as a template. So anything that you made, you know, so if you have your custom file, you go through map everything. Once you upload it, you make sure it's good, click on the, the name, save as template, and then you can give it a name to use. So future uploads, you can just choose that template. You don't have to go through the, the mapping again. Okay, so now that I've uploaded, you can see I have a couple of orders here that were uploaded. You can click on where it says the orders and it'll take you to the manage orders page and show you just those orders. So I can actually click on where it says the order and it'll take me to the manage orders page. It'll filter by an order tag. Um, so it's gonna find all the orders that have that tag. So if we actually go into the order, you can see we automatically add a tag that references the CSV. Um, and 262 is just like an internal ID. This way we can tie all the orders together. So if you do want to see, well, what are, the, what are all the orders I uploaded with this CSV? You can use that tag to find it. And you can quickly do that just by clicking on this or on the manage orders page filtered by that order tag. Um, that's really it. It's, um, I know it sounds very exciting, but that's kind of all there is to it. Um, again, you know, some of the, the new features that we added were the error, error reporting with the ability to easily fix those errors and upload it. Um, and, and that, you know, that, that advanced um, matching of fields, you know, this way mapping the fields is a little bit easier than it used to be. Um, yeah, that's- uh, I'm gonna ask the question- the upload. I'm gonna ask the question that I think all of our viewers are, are thinking right now. How fast is it? It's a lot faster. So we put a lot of work in making it faster so you can upload order you know, CSVs of a couple thousand orders and it'll, it'll go pretty quickly. So yeah, it's another thing, thanks, thanks for bringing that up. Um, we did do some work around making those order imports faster. So you should definitely see some improvements there as well. But you don't have to stay on the screen, right? Because that's what that nope. email notification is for. Yeah, email notification, um, you know, it'll show you as it's processing. So it'll kind of tell you like how much of it is done. But yeah, you will get that email notification when it is done. Very cool. Well, thanks for joining us today. And thank you, Yosa, for taking us through CSV order upload. Um, if you like this video, we'll do more hit the like or subscribe button. He also got to point up, I think. Or down. That way? This, this way. Um, you'll find like it. Like and subscribe. Yeah, you'll find it. And we'll do some more. Until next time. Bye.